Hey guys, so this is going to be my polish picks update number two for you. So basically these are the nail polishes I have worn since my last update. I did post a picture on Instagram with the polishes on my nails and then just, you know, like a photo of all the polishes together. So you should go check that out if you want to see what they look like on me anyway. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and start with my first polish. So this one is from Trust Fund Beauty. And it's this dark, vampy kind of red color. Hopefully, kind of you can see how it catches a little bit of the red shimmer in it in the light. Um, this is a very dark polish for me anyway. I really like the Trust Fund formula. Um, I guess I should call, tell you the name. It's called Just Call My Lawyer. I got this in a petite vor, petty vor box, sorry. Um, so yeah, I do like the formula. It wore nicely on me. Um, it just was a little bit too dark. I have another polish just like this from Wet n Wild, but it's a little bit lighter, so I kind of think I like that one better. I still need to wear that one, um, but I think I'm going to let this one go as long as the other one, the Wet n Wild one, works for me. So when I wear that one, I'll reevaluate both of them, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be leaning towards that one just because it's a little bit lighter and not as, you know, like crazy. Because I am very pale, so like a color this dark really makes me look a lot paler, so... I think I'm going to be passing on this one, but it's a beautiful polish. The next one I have is from Wet n Wild. This is the Mega Last line. I love this line of polish. And this is the shade Candylicious. So I wore this around Valentine's Day. It's a really fun, bright pink. I really like it. Um, it's not too warm, too cool in my opinion. It kind of reminds me of Pepto-Bismol, but like, it's fine. Um, oh, there's my cat. If you haven't met him, his name is Miko. Um... But anyway, I like this one. I like the formula. I really like the brush on here. It's a pretty wide and flat um, like brush or tip, I guess. So it's easy to just kind of swipe on your nails, like in one or two swipes and your nails covered, which I enjoy. So I will be keeping this one. I don't have too many pinks, you know, that are this kind of medium pinkness, I guess. So I will be keeping this one. Next one I wore was from Zoya, and this is in the shade Brooklyn. Now, I bought this one. It's a yellow gold, and it's metallic. And I bought this one because I didn't have anything like it. I didn't have any gold polishes. Um, I didn't have... I don't know. I just feel like yellows are a little bit tough to pull off, and I felt like maybe a gold would work. And this one, I was hesitant. I didn't know if I would like it, um, but I ended up actually really liking it. So I will be keeping this one. I'm really actually excited to know that I like how this looks on me. Um, so yeah, I will be keeping this one. This is Brooklyn. The next one is from Rimmel, and I've had this nail polish for so long. I had this in high school, um, and I am about to graduate from college, so it's been a while. But anyway, this is from Rimmel. It's the Lasting Finish Pro. It says it's supposed to last up to 10 days. I can make it last up to 10 days with my good top coat and base coat. <laughs> and um, So anyway, this is still gray. It's kind of a purpley gray. Um, it's nice. This is a maybe for me right now because I have other gray colors. A gray is one of my favorite colors to wear on my fingers. I think it's a nice neutral. It's something a little bit different, but not too out there, you know? So I will be keeping this for now. It will be a, a maybe for me. And then as I wear my other gray, since I did take pictures, I can compare them and kind of see how I like it, you know, against other ones. So I will be keeping it for now. Next one is also from Zoya. This is in the shade Lulu, which is actually what I have on my nails now. They look just kind of dingy, and I don't like that. It's a nice nude. This is three coats. Um, nah, it's just not doing it for me. It's really pretty in the bottle, but because it's so sheer, it really takes a lot of layers to make it show up true to color. And even so, I just, again, I feel like it looks dirty. So I'm not going to be keeping this one. Um, I really wanted to like it. I think a pale peach is a really nice kind of springtime color you could wear, but this one wasn't it for me. So I will be passing that one along for sure. And then the last one is from Butter London, and this is in the shade Blagger, and it's a mini. And this one I actually have on my toes. I wear this on my toes pretty much all month. This I've been wearing on my toes for a long time. I really, really like it there. I don't like it on my nails, but this is a designated toe color for me, and I really enjoy it, so I definitely will be keeping it. I'm about halfway done with it. I've had this one for, I bought a set of Butter London nail polishes a couple years ago around Christmas time, and um, yeah, so this came in there. They're all small size, so they're pretty easy for me to get up. And I I like um, I like the wand on these because they're little. I mean that's 
that's the baby wand so it's really nice to get my toes because I have small feet and small toenails and stuff so it, um, these ones are pretty nice for my toes so yeah that is there so overall recap I'm going to be keeping four polishes this one up top the gray purple is a maybe um, I'm gonna wait and see um, unless if I, if I have something that works better I'll obviously get rid of it but otherwise I'll keep it so four keeping and then two for sure getting rid of. So I feel like I'm still doing pretty good on my whole project picks journey. Um, I did see that Laura switched her name to this so it's a little bit easier to find and um, Lauren May Beauty is doing this as well. So I don't know if you're not, I don't think I could ever just pan a polish. I think I get too sick of a color. So I would highly recommend maybe joining us if you want to. Um, just working through trying all of our polishes out decluttering ones as we wear them and just kind of getting some use out of your polishes so yeah that's all i have again i did post a uh, picture on instagram with them all swatched on my fingers if you want to see that it's definitely not perfect because i'm not perfect at nail polish but i'm trying so anyway that's all i have thank you for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye